Welcome back. Well, Halloween parties can be a haven for candy, sugary treats, maybe some salty foods, but healthy Halloween recipes can also be just as fun. So join us today, a Stanford dietitian, Casey Bierholtz, with some festive and healthy Halloween ideas. Casey, welcome back to the show. It's great to see you. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. So what do you have in store for us today as a healthy Halloween snacks? Yeah, we have some different fun things to kind of talk about today. So I have three showcased up front here. Um, my first one are these lovely cheese monsters. <laughs> so it's just a little baby bell cheese that you can cut and then decorate however you would like to. Um, it's kind of fun. It's really easy to do with the kids. They can help you take off the wax around the cheese and then help you decorate them with fun um, faces and eyes and different things to put on with that as well. I love that. Okay, what else do you have? And then I have next these lovely little ghost kebabs. So also a really fun thing to do with the kids. They can help you put them on. It's just one um, little kebab spear, and then you're putting on a strawberry, a cantaloupe, and a marshmallow. So you're putting those on, and then you're taking either food coloring or you could use, there's little markers you can use too that are food safe, and you can draw the little ghost face on. So it's really fun for them to help you put together. And then you could also use a little fruit dip with them as well. Great stuff, especially since, you know, I don't know how many people are gonna be out trick or treating this year. So uh, I know you got a few other items you wanna share with us as well. Yes, so obviously hard without the trick or treating this year. Um, so these are some fun things to do for dinners or you guys can put them together as snacks, those types of things. The last one I have that's pre-made are these spiders on a log. So super simple. Everybody loves the celery and peanut butter combination. So you just take that celery, put the peanut butter on, and then you're gonna put little chocolate chips and little, um, and then use black frosting to make the spider legs on there. So also a really fun thing for kids to do. These are all really easy snacks for them to enjoy. And if you're obviously not trick or treating, these are fun ways to still incorporate the Halloween spirit as well. Really, really good stuff. I love, I love the spider thing you came up with. So <laughs> anything else you wanna share with us that we should know? Um, so I also just in the front here, I just put out a few pieces of candy because it is Halloween still. It is a special occasion and we're not saying that kids shouldn't enjoy candy during the Halloween season. Obviously, we want them to still be in the spirit of it. It's a great time to talk about those portion sizes and the moderation piece of things as well. And are you going to do some kind of demonstration for us about something here? Yes, so I have two different things to demonstrate. I have a candy corn um, veggie tray to put together and I also have an English muffin uh, spider pizza. So we'll start with the candy corn first. Let me just move my other things out of the way. So all you need is a serving dish. Um, and then I have cauliflower and I have yellow peppers and then I have carrots. So you just want to put it into a candy corn formation. So we'll start with those yellow bell peppers kind of at the bottom. That's the bottom of our candy corn. And then we'll put the carrots on next. This is not the most beautiful of ways to do it. Um, and I also have a smaller serving platter here. So you could obviously make this as big as you wanted to fit all the veggies on there that you have. And then the very top is that cauliflower for that white piece, just like the candy corn would look. Nice. Woo. So we got that on there. So it looks like a nice candy corn. And then on the side, you could do hummus, you could do ranch, whatever your favorite dip is. Or if you want to create your own veggie dip, you could also put food coloring in it to make it a little more fun if you want to make it black or orange for the holiday season as well. Well done. Uh, what's the second demo you have? And the second one I have is the lovely English muffin pizzas. So these are super easy to do, great snack, or if you want them as a dinner option on Halloween or the Friday before. So I have a 100% whole wheat English muffin. And then all we're gonna do is put some pizza sauce on it. So you're putting pizza sauce on both halves, spreading that around evenly. And then you could use whatever pizza toppings you want. So if you want pepperoni, if you want 
different onions or peppers or veggies. It's a great time to try out some different things with your kids and they can help you chop and be in the kitchen with you. And then what, after your toppings are on, you wanna cover it with mozzarella cheese. So we're just sprinkling that over the top, making sure you're covering the English muffin fully. And then we're just putting that to the side. I lost. I lost my screen for a second. I oh, apologize. no, we, guys, we got so you. You're good. Put that cheese on. That's what we did next. And then once we take them out of the oven, it's going to look like this. So you put them in the oven just so they're melted and you get a little golden brown at the top. And then what I did is I took black olives to put a little spider on each one. So you have the main black olive in the middle, the head, and then the legs coming out. So again, just kind of a fun thing for kids to do and you guys to do with them as well when we are not going to get out there for the trick-or-treating as yeah. much. Yeah, that is so great. I love how you did the spiders there. So very, very creative. Um, I got about 30 seconds left. Anything else you want to add or share? How can people just reach out to you if they want? Um, I would say just obviously we want to still enjoy the spirit of Halloween. It's a really fun time for kids, so we don't want to take that away. Hopefully these are fun things you can still incorporate. And again, there's nothing wrong without letting them enjoy the candy and picking out some of their favorite things as well. Good stuff. And Reese's are healthy, right, Case? They are. They have peanut butter in them. <laughs> protein and a good source of fat as well so those are all fun things you also obviously could do coloring books or some of those other non-food related things too to make Halloween fun great stuff I really really appreciate it and, and great great work so thank you very much yes thanks for having me of course anytime and stick around we got a lot more coming up right after this